Hey, what's up, YouTube family? This your boy, Ray Mack. We about to do us some old-fashioned chicken and dumplings. So right here, I have some six boneless, skinless chicken thighs, along with some celery, carrots, and onions. And I also have some Spain spices, garlic and herb seasoning, some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, some chicken seasoning along with a stick of butter with some Spain spices all in one seasoning, some Louisiana Cajun seasoning, parsley and Italian seasoning. I'm telling you, y'all, we're going to pack this here pot up with some flavor and we're taking this back to old school. Your grandma way or your mama's way, whoever's way is going to be good. First thing we're going to do, we're going to wash and clean up our chicken. That's what we've already done. And we're going to put it into a nice size stock pot. And then I want you to fill that um, pot up with some water to chicken level. All right. Try your best not to go above that chicken and you'll be all right. Add in all of your veggies along with all of your seasonings. Now I want you to go ahead and add a half a stick of butter to the pot. Once we've done that, I want you to go ahead and place the pot on the stove and we want to set our temperature to medium high heat. We want our pot to come to a boil. Once it, becomes, once it comes to a boil, go ahead and place a lid right on top of your pot. Let's go ahead and make our dumplings. On a smooth surface, go ahead and place some of the flour on top of the surface. Add a tablespoon of salt along with that. I want you to add just some little bit of water at a time so we can form our dough now once our dough is formed I want you to roll it out roll it out because we're gonna take a take us a pizza cutter and we're gonna go ahead and shape our dumplings I'm cutting out some of this the rough edges here so I can make us um, some squares to throw into our dumplings once we've done that I want you to go ahead and get your bowl because we're gonna make us some slurry for our chicken and dumplings I want you to go ahead and take some water mix up your slurry Whatever you do, don't make it too thick and don't make it too thin, all right? Once we've made up our slurry, we want to go ahead and add this slurry to our pot. So before we add our slurry to the pot, I want you to go ahead and break down some of your chicken. All right. I'm using dark meat. If you want to use white meat, that's fine. All right. I just like the flavor that, that dark meats give whenever I am cooking dishes like this. So you can go ahead and just break it up and into little pieces. I like my chicken and dumplings stringy. All right, so here I'm pouring in the slurry. I'm pouring it in a little bit at a time. And I need you guys, if you're gonna do this technique, continue to stir while you're pouring because you do not want to have no type of lumps in your dumpling. The only dumplings you want is your homemade dumplings. Okay, so let's make sure that we do this and we'll be all right. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our homemade dumplings to this here stew yes lord i'm telling you right now if y'all have never made homemade dumplings before please try this recipe i guarantee you you will love it i guarantee you they will be begging you to make more of this here recipe all right so add your dumplings in once you got your dumplings added i want you to go ahead and cover your pot with your lid and allow it to cook for at least around about a good 15 and 20 minutes before you check it again. Once 15 and 20 minutes have gone by, go ahead and check your dumplings. I want you to take a spoon 
and dig directly at the bottom of that pot making sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom and allow it to continue to cook until your stew becomes thick and your dumplings are tender. Please, Lord, let me tell you something right now. This right here is making me hungry. I'm telling you, this is some good stuff. Now, I paired this up with some um, sweet peas and corn. All right, I do have a video for that canned sweet peas and corn. And I think you guys need to go out and check that one out as well. But I'm telling you, you don't have to wait for Thanksgiving to have something like this. You don't have to wait to Christmas to have something like this. Go ahead, man, and, and let your stomach you know what I'm saying? Fill your stomach up with something good and delicious. And this will definitely fill you up. All right. So I definitely want to thank you guys for checking out Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. And if you can, pretty please, pretty please, pretty please, subscribe. Subscribe for more videos. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. And subscribe for more videos. And also watch these videos. And it would definitely help me out a lot. All right. Leave comments in the comment section. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. And I want to say love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.